Vector drawables were introduced in Android 5.0. They're also available using the Android support library. Prior to Android 5.0, image resources shown in your app were typically put into drawable folders tagged with various screen densities, such as HDPI and XHDPI. For bitmap images such as photos, this is still necessary. However, one of the benefits of vector images is that they can be rescaled to any resolution without any loss of crispness in the image. Google provides a large number of vector drawable assets on the Material Design website. Vector drawables start off as vector images in tools such as Adobe Illustrator. They are exported as SVG files and then imported into an Android project by right-clicking on the Res Drawable folder and selecting New Vector Asset. The vector asset lives in the drawable folder as an XML file, defining the vector using a set of path tags that define how to draw the image. In order to animate your vector drawable, you have to define an object animator that defines how to morph these paths from one form to another. When working with animated vector drawables, you'll usually need to work with a team member that's skilled in working with the various vector image tools and that can help you define the associated animations. The starter project includes a number of these morphing animations that we'll use to take a plus sign and morph into a check mark. Let's see how to create an animated vector drawable with these morphing animations now.